everyone, I'm Emily, and today we are making simple circuit LED cards. This is great for Mother's Day or Father's Day or really any occasion that requires cards. For this one, you need some paper, scissors, regular tape like scotch tape, copper tape, a watch battery, and an LED, and some markers to decorate your cards. First, let's go over a basic circuit diagram of what we're creating today. So this is a basic circuit diagram. This is showing our watch battery here. This is going to be our copper tape and this little symbol represents our LED. Now, copper is a great conductor because of the nature of the copper atom. In the copper atom, one of its 29 electrons can easily move between copper atoms, meaning in a piece of copper like this, there are free flowing electrons going everywhere. This is like, a sea of electrons. And because electrons can easily move through it, it makes it a good conductor. Because electrons are negatively charged, they're going to move from the negative end of our battery because like charges repel away from the negative end of the battery towards the positive end of the battery because opposite charges attract. Now that we know that, we can go over how we are going to make our cards today. There are two types of cards I'm going to show you how to make. This cute one where you just press it and it lights up just like so. And this one where you fold it over here and you just press and it lights up like that. We'll start with this one. You can see that when you open it and it's unfolded, this is an open circuit right here. This is an open circuit where our LED is not lit up. As soon as we flip this over, we close the circuit and the light lights up. So the first thing you wanna do is design your card. Take your piece of paper and fold it in half, and then figure out where you want your LED to be. This is a really fun project for kids, especially because it involves a lot of thought and planning and a bit of engineering, right? Because we had to realize that we wanted our LED right there before we designed our circuit on the other side. Next, design the front of your card. I'm going to go ahead and use that same lava style cartoon that I did before. Then you're going to want to figure out where you want to put your LED. I'm going to put mine right at the center of that volcano. If you want your LED to pop through like we did here, just go ahead and take your LED and put a hole through your card, just like so. Now you have that hole, you can kind of take out the LED so we don't lose it. The next thing you want to do is just fold your corner over to see where we're going to complete our circuit. Where it's folded over, that's where we're going to put our watch battery, right there. So for now, I'm just gonna draw a circle where the watch battery is going to be. Then from the watch battery, I'm going to draw where I want my copper tape to ultimately connect to our LED. Go ahead and flip that corner just to test out to make sure that copper tape is going to touch your watch battery. Now that we have that lined out, there are four important things to remember when we're making LED cards. The first thing is that an LED only works in one direction. The longer leg of the LED is for the positive terminal and the shorter leg is for the negative terminal. So when we put it on a watch battery on the opposite way, if we put the positive to the negative and the short end to the positive, it doesn't work right? It doesn't light up. But when we put the longer edge on the positive side of the battery and the shorter edge to the negative side, it works. So when you set this up, make sure the longer leg is touching the copper tape that is ultimately touching the positive side of your battery. The second thing to remember is that our copper tape only works on this side. On the other side, it's sticky and that sticky glue interferes with its conductivity, meaning don't put your copper tape over your copper tape. It just, it won't connect. It won't work. The third thing to remember is to not tape completely over our watch battery because again, the tape gets in the way of the copper's conductivity and it won't make a full connection. We won't have a closed circuit. And the fourth thing to remember is that our LED needs to be in full contact with our copper tape. So make sure it's taped down really, really good. Measure out your copper tape to see how much you're going to need. Remember, because the sticky side of the copper tape is not conductive, you don't want to put copper tape on top of itself you want to just bend one piece of copper tape like so. 
the left corner over like so. The important part here is make sure that these two pieces don't touch. Once you have your copper tape down, then go ahead and tape down your battery. And then go ahead and thread through your LED. Make sure the long leg touches the copper tape that's on the positive side of the battery and the shorter leg is on the negative side. Now tape this down really well. And just like that, we have our LED card. And then if you wanted to make a card like this, which is a little bit cleaner, all you have to do is basically we're creating the exact same circuit that we did before, but we're putting it all on this page. It exists as an open circuit. And then you put a piece of copper tape on this page so that when you close it, you are closing the circuit by touching this copper tape to this edge of the battery, just like so. And that's how you make a simple circuit LED card.